All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC, DC. And if anyone is well-equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming, at least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away, because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 18 wins, 5 losses. He stands 6 feet 1 inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Spokane Valley, Washington, Michael Maverick Chiesa! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? Are you ready? All right, so here we go with round one. The tension is palpable. On one side, you've got one of the more well-rounded fighters in this division taking on a true submission specialist. Yeah, he's taking on a true submission specialist. And when you talk about submission specialist, nobody matches up to this guy. He is that good at getting you to the ground and choking you out. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Punch over the top. Just missed with the straight left hand. Nice counter right hook there. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Which is good. The left also flush. Let's move that head now. I mean, that right hand lands square. Lock him, suck him out of the shoot here. Hands higher, hands higher. He's throwing every part of himself 
into these big leg kicks. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish the fight. Those are big strikes. Oh, straight right. You can't break your will. Oh, overhand left. No good. Yes, it gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Big ball to touch land. Now he gets back to range. Pretty good right hand. And both guys really throwing with authority. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh, clipped him with the overhand. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Big kick lands. How about that shin? Lee going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Oh, brutal knee to the body. An uppercut landed. Oh, straight right. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watching this guy going, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. What a tricky head kick. Oh, look at that jab, snaps his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hands right back to his face. Oh, nice jab. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Trying to establish that jab once again. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, that's a nice strike. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Beautiful straight punch there by Kiesa. Real nice body kick lands. Big kick lands. Yes, it gets hit by that leg kick. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Nice punch lands over the top. That was a thudding leg kick. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. A pretty good start for the time. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Big kick lands. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. 
went for the inside leg kick. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Over and over, he's landing a big bite. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh, a nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Lee gets hit with a kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. I mean, you are definitely crushing that one. You love that one, don't you? You love that jab. Three minutes to go. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Good punch. Nice body kick right under the elbow. He has his lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. All right, let's go. Let's get those hands going now. Blocks that kick to the body. What a body kick. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Whiffs on the right hand. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. Nice punch there. Tonight, beautiful combination of strikes there by Lee. He got the turnover in that kick. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Wow, what a kick. Huge kick lands. Trying to establish that jab. Punch lands. Hook to the head there by Chiesa, though. Another one. Yep. Oh, and the left hand. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Over the top. This fight's going to be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Right hand upstairs. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Missed with that attempt. Ten seconds remain in round two. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Lee. And that's the end of round number two. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. Well, he certainly added to his highlight reel in that previous round, DC. A lot of effective kicks there to the bottom. And he did a great job of setting up those kicks. He's not throwing blind body kicks. He's not just throwing the kick. He's throwing it behind jabs. He's throwing it behind punches, making his opponent think high, and then blasting that kick right into his opponent's body.
Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Big body kick. Yes, it gets caught with that punch. All right, so a nice shot there defensively. Just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Big kick lands. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Right idea, wrong execution. The left punch misses. Great punch. We got this, okay? We got it. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Well, no surprises. He connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on that cut. Right on the cut. It targeted it, right? He's looking. You can see him almost putting a laser beam on that cut. He just put his hands on it. It doesn't take much. He's just keep making it split, showing his opponent that he has no mercy. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Tall, oh, huge connection on the flying knee, DC. Now we'll see if the longer, taller fighter can move in and follow it up. Plus right hand is true. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Nice punch there by Chiesa, though. Big leg kick land. Back and forth we go. Cable inches right there. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Liver kick. Tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of defensively there as he keeps his hands up, not just protecting his face, but also what is a pretty significant one. You cannot allow that to get hit. Oh, oh, head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a cheeky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got a hurt bad. Oh, big left. That one's not in. Nice strike. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Yes, it gets tagged by that straight punch. Nice land for the offense there. Look at him drive his chin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Nice kick there by Kiesa. Oh, he could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or at his mama's house. Thanks, get him. He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. Nice punch lands over the top. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. at the angle of that nice body kick. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Kick. If you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Just misses with the jab there. Oh! How about those five minutes? Great job. Excellent work. All those rounds on the 
so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance. He took it. He landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have... Wow. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes, and a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Nice punch, Lance. Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. how much more damage he can take to the body. You may want to drop that elbow defensively. Of course, that opens you up to damage upstairs. Pick your poison for him here as he continues to absorb damage. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Strike to the body here. Instead, it's turned away by Lee. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Just missed with that right hand. Oh! Back to the feet. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Whoa! victory here tonight. It's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 50 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.